Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can add widgets such as donation goals and an alert box to our stream in OBS. So there are multiple sources you can use in order to tie in those kind of widgets to Twitch. The ones we'll be showing in this video are from streamlabs.com, which is a very popular service for getting these kind of widgets. Now in order to copy the widget into OBS, we need to add them as browser sources. So in the bottom left where you see sources, we want to right click and do add browser and we can give it a name. So let's say the first one is donation goals and then we're going to need a URL here. So to get the URL, we need to go to our streamlabs.com dashboard. If you don't already have an account, you can log in and sign up with your Twitch account very easily. And uh, once you're logged in, it'll put you at this dashboard. So you want to scroll down on the left side to where it says widgets. And then we have alert box and goals. So for goals, I will hit the plus button and we want a donation goal specifically. So I will left click on that and you'll see widget URL over here. We want to copy and paste that into OBS. So you can see here now that that donation goal is showing in the top left hand corner. If you need to change uh, some details about it, like the width and height, you can double click it and go back into it. So maybe I say just that it's a uh, 180p resolution now. So it takes up the full size of my screen. And uh, you don't have to keep it up there in the top. You could easily do something like drag it down here to the bottom left or shrink its size by left click and dragging on one of the edges. But it actually looks like it's better when you have the width and height shrunken down. So I'm going to return that and let's stretch it out. And maybe we just put this in the bottom left hand corner. But if you want to manipulate any of the details here, such as the fonts or the color, then you go back to the Streamlabs page in order to manipulate it. So here, if I scroll down on the donation goal page, uh, we can see some details about the goal. So days remaining, current amount, goal amount. Maybe I want to manipulate those kinds of things. So down at the bottom of that widget page, we can see settings for the goal. Also into donation goal if we want to set a new one. And you can see colors for the goal, uh, font types, and you can also switch to a condensed layout if the standard one is taking a little too much space. But let's say that we wanted to create a completely new goal. So I'll just end the old one here and we'll create a new one. So the goal name will be stream donations, I suppose. And goal amount, let's just say it's 100. I believe that defaults to US dollars. And starting amount, we'll say zero. End after, oh, I don't know, a year. And then we'll hit start donation goal. So once you've done that, it should update inside of OBS as well. So we can see stream donations there, 365 days to go. And the goal is $100 there. But we can also change stuff like the background color. So let's say we want to change the background color and make it stand out a bit more. We can left click on here and change the color to something, I don't know, like a red. And uh, once you hit save settings, it's going to update there inside of OBS as well. It just takes a second to refresh. So that's all well and good. So in order for your stream viewers to donate in a way where they can actually see the donations appear on screen, uh, you're going to have to go over to my account and donation settings on Streamlabs and find your Streamlabs donation link. So this will tie into other services such as PayPal and you can also add in uh, Strix, I believe it is, and a few others to basically give your viewers options of how they can donate to you. All of those will be processed through this link. So we need to paste this link where it says streamlabs.com slash your username over to your Twitch page. So for instance, if I go over to my page, twitch.tv slash darkskeleton, we can see down here, there is a little option here for support the stream. And that's where I've pasted in the link. It's currently using the old Streamlabs link. So in order to change this, I want to click on edit panels. And here you can see the links that each of the panels will have as well as the panel title and a image if you want to include that. So I'm going to change this link here to streamlabs.com slash username. And then you can hit submit. And then whenever that link is clicked, that's going to be where your viewers are able to donate. Optionally adding in a description or an image here would be a good way of making it more interesting for them to actually want to interact there and consider donating. So uh, you can do that on your own time. I'm going to hit submit here and then we turn off edit panels and if I hover over this little image here it'll now have the link for the donation and when anyone decides to click on that 
this would be the page that they go to. So you can see a preview of the donation, what it would look like on stream, how much the person wants to donate, and whatever the donation message is going to be. Now, um, let's show another example then. We'll do the alert box. So the alert box is when an event happens on stream, like a follow or donation, and you want it to show to all the viewers that so-and-so has followed or so-and-so has donated. Well, you can come down here. You can see all of the check boxes for what events should be tracked. Uh, you can leave them all as default if you want. Uh, once again, we'll copy the widget and we'll go add a new browser source. So in OBS, I'm gonna right click, do add browser. And we'll say alerts. And then for the URL, I'm going to copy it in. And you'll notice that it won't constantly show anything on screen because it only shows stuff when an event actually happens. So a lot of people will position this kind of in the center of the screen. And if you want to test it before your stream is running, you simply need to hit one of these test buttons. So let's say a test merch, and then it will say like, oh, John bought a t-shirt. Or you can do test donation. So and so has donated this uh, is so much money. And you'll notice there's dollar. also like animated GIFs over here, the text animates, and these are settings we can manipulate as well. So test follow if you want to see how that looks. So test follow if you want to see how that looks. Okay, so you may have noticed that in the bottom left hand corner, the test donation triggered the stream donations to go up, but just restarting OBS was able to fix that. I'm not sure why that bug happened. But anyway, um, if you want to customize the Twitch alerts, such as changing the sound effect that will play, uh, you just come down here once again on the alert box page, and you can customize it for all of the events. So if you want to change the GIF for it follows, you would just come down here to GIFs, hit change media. You can pick one of the stock files, which are out of the box by default. So for instance, we can select this Corgi here, hit select, and that changes it for that. Um, sound effects, uh, down here where it says sound, you just click and change the media. You can do a URL or you can upload a file from your computer. And then you have options for font. You can also add in alert variations if you want multiple possibilities. So it won't always be the same GIF, for instance. And once again, you can customize it for all of your different events. So you can kind of get in here and uh, play around with it for a while. If using the main alert takes up too much space on the screen, then maybe you want it to be a long width but short height alert and that's basically the idea of how you add in the widgets so i've shown you how to do donation goals and alert boxes which are probably two of the most common ones uh, but you can see obviously on the widgets list of streamlabs they have a lot of other options they're all pretty much added the same way so just remember that you need to use browser sources to do this and for many of the options they'll have test buttons so just hit test before you go live and customize the settings to your liking. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching this brief tutorial on how to set up stream alerts and stream donations inside of OBS. I hope it's been helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys in my future video content.